Hi everyone, this is Liz Davis and in this screencast I want to show you how to set up your Facebook privacy. When you first join Facebook there are some default settings that they set up for you and you may want to make your account more or less private depending on your needs. You'll notice there's a link up on this upper right hand corner called privacy. If you click on that link you'll find that there are four different options for privacy. The first one is your profile. If you click on your profile, you'll notice that um, all of your privacy settings are for only your friends. So only people you choose to friend can see all this information about you. And that's fine. However, you may choose to change some of these to be more or less private. For example, your wall. If you choose no one, that means that only you can see things that people write on your wall. I have my privacy settings set this way because people write personal things to me on my wall and I don't necessarily want all my friends to be able to see that. So there are some, there is some information that I might choose to have only my friends be able to see and some that I only want to be able to see myself. Um, the other privacy, the other information would be contact information. What do you want your friends to be able to see? How do you want them to be able to contact you? Again, these are all set to be only your friends, but it may be that some of this information you don't want your friends to see, or it may be that for some of this information you want lots of people to see. So that's up to you and your interests, but you should know how the defaults are set and set them to what you would like them to be. The next option has to do with search. People look for each other to friend. You may want to be able to be found and that is the default to put you into the public search listing. It may be that you do not want to be found or if it's a child who uh, has set up an account, they may not want to be able to be searched for. They just might want to be able to tell people or friend the people that they're interested in. Um, if you are found by others, there are different ways that people can contact you and different ways that things that they can see. So you may not want them to see your picture when they search for you. You may want them to be able to send you a message or not. Um, and you may or may not want them to be able to view who your friends are. So you want to know that the default settings are to allow anyone to be able to contact you and see this information about you. Next has to do with the news feed and mini feed. Uh, within Facebook, when you update different things on your page, when you add a friend, when you comment, there's a little feed that tells others what you've done. And that means that all of your friends can see this information. You may not want everyone to know that you just wrote on someone else's wall, or you may not want everyone to know that you just commented on someone else's video. Um, you should know that the the default settings are to allow all of your friends to see all of this information. And it may be that some of this information you don't want publicized. It's actually going to feed this information to your friends and some of it you may not want them to know every time you update. Um, external e websites may try sending information to you. You might want to block that from happening. Social ads as well. You might appear in a social ad and you might not just you might decide to not allow your profile to be seen in a social ad even to only your friends. So again the default on that is only your friends. Finally, other applications that you use in Facebook. Once you do start using other applications, you're going to want to check to see what you've authorized those applications to see about you. So this is the place where authorized applications and other applications um, will be able to see and other users will be able to see this information if you accept their application. So once you start using applications on Facebook, you are going to want to check out this privacy setting. So hopefully this has helped you see a little bit more about the options for privacy in Facebook. Whether you want to be more or less public with your information, you should know that you can control what you share and you do want to think about that. 
Hope this has been helpful. Thanks for li listening. This is Liz Davis, and I'll see you next time. Bye.